Today we're at the brand new Ryu Palace Kukulkan and we're uh, gonna head inside in just a second and show you guys what's offered here at this brand new hotel. So I'm just standing on the road, well on the sidewalk here, just out front of the hotel and I'm gonna just walk up the driveway here and show you uh, the front entrance here. Pardon me, it's a little bit windy today so at, at points during the video it might get a little bit harder to hear me so I apologize for that but it is a little bit of a windy day today. So coming in the front entrance of the hotel here, it's nestled right in here on the Cancun Hotel Zone Strip and um, which makes it have great access to a lot of different like shops and restaurants uh, as you kind of walk up this way. There's even the, um, the boutique mall and the uh, Isla Mall. I think it's called the Isla Mall. Uh, just down here too. So you, nice walking distance to a lot of things here in Cancun. And this driveway here is where your uh, airport transportation will drop you off right at the front of the hotel. And the bellman here will be happy to take your luggage for you and as you get checked in. Just going to show you the sign here and also the snake here that welcomes you into the hotel here at the main entrance. All right, so as we come in the front entrance here, we're going to get a look at the lobby here. I love the color scheme they went with with this brand new hotel. So we've got sort of like blacks on golds here with this new decor color palette. As you can see, this gold pattern up here. And we've got this kind of like gold, uh, black marble that kind of makes up the contrasting colors here in the lobby. So um, I'll just give you a little wayfinding and then we'll go check out things as we make our way through the lobby here. So if we look over this way, which is left when you come in the front entrance, this is where the front desk and check-in is located. Uh, also down the hallway around this way is going to be where all the restaurants and buffet is located. And if we turn over this way, this is where the pools and the beaches are going to be located, just out this door right here. And then over here, this is where the lobby bar and cappuccino are going to be located as well. Just around the lobby bar, just over there, is going to be the walkway to the theater and then the, um, the lounge too here, which is a really cool place. I'm gonna show you that in just a little bit. Uh, it's actually something, a little bit of a new style that Ryu's done, so uh, stay tuned for that a little later on in the tour. Just behind me here is the access to the elevators to get up to the guest room. So there's one set of elevators here, and then just over here on this side, there's, a, there's another set of elevators just over here. So here's the elevators on the other side. And if we continue walking over this way, this is where the baggage room is going to be. So um, if you wanted to check out of the hotel and have your bags stored while you enjoy the pools before you head to the airport, they can store it in a safe place just inside this uh, room over here. So this is the front desk here. This is where you'll do your check-in and check-out. And uh, I love the different decor and the, the style here of this front desk. They've got some cool artwork and pieces here. Um, this beautiful kind of black on gold scheme here as well. Very modern looking. Just to the left side of the lobby, or the front desk, we have an information board here. And this will help you kind of get up to speed with the things that are going on at the hotel during your stay. So you can even, if you want to check out like another day, you can do that using this touch screen and find some of the different activities and kind of where they're happening around the hotel. Also, there is an app that you can use while you're staying here and you can use this QR code here on the screen. There's a turtle there now. I'll go back to the... You can use this QR code on the screen to download the app. You can actually get started planning your trip at home before you even arrive at the hotel. Um, it looks really, really fresh and new here. I love this like style that they've got going on here at Kukukan. One thing I will mention too is brand new at Ryu Palace Kukukan is that Ryu has introduced this new elite club. So here it is here, you can see the Elite Club, and they've also kind of paired off the Rio Class Golden Diamond that will also be considered um, getting the same benefits as, as the Elite Club does. So a really nice uh, kind of elite welcome here is you got this red carpet with these uh, red velvet ropes leading up to a private check-in experience here at the Elite Club. So um, I'm just gonna put on screen some of the benefits that the Elite Club gets if you were to choose that option on your stay. So I'm just reading from the app, it says that um, you'll get rooms with the best views of the entire hotel, a bottle of wine or sparkling wine, sorry, a bottle of wine or sparkling wine and a gift in the room to celebrate the start of your vacation, uh, aromatherapy in your room, also a package of bathroom accessories such as bathrobes and slippers, exclusive bathroom amenities, the best selection of liquors and snacks in the minibar of your room, uh, access to a greater selection of drinks in the lounge bar, and we'll show you the lounge bar in a few minutes. And then finally, late checkout service until 1 p.m., uh, confirming an availability that they have that available. So yeah, there is some extra perks if you wanted to layer on a few extra things during your stay. They have this brand new Elite Club here at Ryu now. 
So before we go check out the rest of the lobby, um, we're going to go down the hallway just to the left of the front desk and that's going to lead us to the restaurants here. Something other to note is there's a customer service desk here if you have any questions on your stay. Um, you can ask the customer service desk just here. So just over this way, this is where the washrooms are located. Also to mention there is a ATM at the end of this hallway too here. So starting our walk outside here on the left side wing of the hotel, we have all the different restaurants that we're going to be seeing here. We have Don Julio, the uh, buffet, and we have a few different a la carte that we're going to be visiting. Our first one here is the Italian a la carte called Rossini. And Rossini is an Italian, I think I just mentioned, is an Italian a la carte. So here's the hours for Rotini and the times it's available. And also I'll show you the dinner menu here for Rossini. And if you need to just pause the screen at any time if I've gone too fast, you can do so to take a closer look. One thing to mention about Rossini is it does open at five o'clock. So uh, it's actually like an earlier a la carte than some of the other ones. So if you're looking for like a bit of a fancier dining experience and the buffet and the other a la cartes aren't quite open yet, Rossini is open. As we're walking down this way, I'll just give you a sneak peek of the gardens here. They are quite beautiful, even though that the uh, hotel has kind of just opened a couple months ago. Some of the gardens and the plants here are looking pretty nice already. There's some birds of paradise right here. They're looking pretty small, but as the hotel matures, these are gonna get nice and big. Now, lots of shade down this walkway here, and this is the walkway that leads you down to the pools and the beaches. And then I'll show you uh, the back side of the hotel here. This is where all the guest rooms are going to be here. So the hotel is shaped like a bit of a horseshoe or a U um, that all the rooms kind of look out onto this garden pathway here. And that most rooms, if not all, have an ocean view if you just look over to, the, uh, to where the ocean is located just down this way. So I'm standing out front of um, Sunaku, and Sunaku is the Asian or Japanese inspired restaurant here. Here's the times that it's open and it looks like at this time of year it's open all of the days of the week. And I'll give you a sneak peek at the menu here for Sunaku. I really like how each of the a la carte's have their own little style here. So you can see Rossini's got like nice straight lines and wood. This one's a bit more like rustic style wood here, more Asian inspired. And then if we come down the hallway here, this is going to be Cristal. Cristal is a gourmet restaurant and you can see this is kind of decorated with more like a marble look. And we've got a similar opening time and days of the week as the rest of the a la carte's here at Cristal. I'll show you Cristal's menu here. And just to let you know, this is the same menus as we, we've seen at Rio Palace Las Americas, Rio Palace Peninsula, and then Cancun and Caribe. So just to let you know that the a la carte menus are very similar. And then just moving along here, so all the, the a la carte restaurants are conveniently located all down one hallway here. This is La Casa de las Flores, and this is the Mexican restaurant. And uh, again, similar opening times here. And I'll give you a sneak peek at the dinner menu here at the Mexican restaurant. And then down this hallway here, this is going to be where Don Julio is and also the steakhouse too. So inside of the um, Don Julio is the buffet and you can get a look in there at the decor. It looks really, really nice in there. And this is the entrance here to Don Julio. There's no menu out front, uh, but I will show you the times that it's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, as well as the times that the bars are open here too. So this is the entrance here to Don Julio. All right, so coming over here, we can see the uh, menu for breakfast. Here's, or sorry, the uh, time that breakfast is open, the time that lunch is open, and then dinner time for the buffet. And then we have some different times that the bars are open throughout the hotel and I'll mention where these bars are located. We already did see the uh, lobby bar daiquiri but we'll get a closer look at it when we get back to the lobby here. Just right across from the buffet is the steakhouse and um, we have a similar opening time for this a la carte as well and I'll show you the menu here for the steakhouse. All right, so now that we're back in the lobby area now, we're gonna turn over to the right side and check out the lobby bar and uh, the cappuccino bar just over here. 
so we can see that's like really beautiful decor. I really like this vibe. I'm kind of getting like a like lounge vibes from like an urban city. So yeah, so we've got daiquiri here. I'll see if I can uh, scope out a QR code for you so you can see the different. Actually, I'm gonna go do that and then I'll put it up on screen right now for you so you can see that. But daiquiri we've got like lots of seating over here. I'm sure this gets really nice and busy and energetic in the evening time. We've got some light music playing in the background and we've got nice floor to ceiling windows over here so you can look out over the gardens and even sneak a small little ocean view right there too. So as we continue along here, we've got some additional like kind of booth seating over here, which is really nice. And wrapping our way around the back here, there's more like high top seating here because we've made our way over to the back side of Daiquiri, which happens to be cappuccino. So they sort of share this little station here and one side's cappuccino and one side's Daiquiri. So at cappuccino, they have another menu for coffees, lattes, uh, espresso, things like that. They also have a selection of sandwiches and pastries. I'll give you a little sneak peek at some of those here in this uh, little display counter. And here's a sample of the pastries offered. It's kind of hard to see with some of the reflections. I'll see if I can go the other way. You can get some muffins and then some sweet breads and things like that. I think that's a carrot and then a vanilla chocolate. This one is really good. I've had that at Rio Palace Peninsula. It's really yummy. Oh, one thing I'm gonna just probably either make or ruin your vacation because they make milkshakes here that are absolutely spectacular. So um, if you have one, you'll be addicted. So I apologize in advance for telling you about the, mo the milkshakes here. So just uh, across from Cappuccino, there is a late night buffet. This opens at 11 p.m. So if you wanna um, get some food after the buffet is closed, they will put some food out here. Um, I'm assuming it's very similar to the food. We have like nachos and cheese, probably hamburgers and hot dogs. I'm assuming it's very similar to the food offered at the sports bars or 24-hour lounges of some of the other Rio hotels here in Cancun that we've seen too. So that pretty much does it for all the offerings in the lobby here. Um, one thing I'm just gonna actually mention too is just before we go out the doors right here that's gonna lead to the theater and the lounge is that there's a... Uh... <laughs> okay, I will. There you go. <laughs> so. There's a uh, touch screen here that shows you all the different activities that are happening. And say you wanted to do some Ryu Fit, you can click that and it'll show you all the different uh, classes and uh, fitness things going on at the hotel. Same thing with the stage, you can click that and find out all the different uh, nightly entertainment that's happening on Ryu's stage at the theater. So that's really helpful to keep, uh, keep up with what's happening at the hotel. Over this way, we're gonna go out the door here and see the theater, the spa and gym, and then finally la the lounge bar, which I'm really excited to show you guys. So as we come out here, it's gonna get a little bit windy, so I apologize, but here's Boardwalk, and this is the resort shop. So we've got some like sunglasses and things like that. There's some jewelry. Also inside of here, there is um, like beach attire and things like that too. Just across from Boardwalk is the gym and spa. So I'm gonna head in here and see if I can get a couple pictures, but I don't wanna interrupt anybody while they're on their uh, treatments, of course, and in the gym, but I'll see if I, what, I can, what I can film while I'm in here. Okay, so I'm in the gym slash spa area. The gym is very crowded right now, so I didn't wanna go in and film anyone, but they do have some machines and things like that and treadmills and some free weights to do a workout in, and it's very clean, very modern there, as you'd expect from a brand new hotel. But where I am right now is this jacuzzi area. And this is kind of like Ryu Palace's best kept secret because it tucked away inside the, um, the spa is this all-inclusive little jacuzzi area with these beautiful loungers, these uh, jacuzzi tubs here as well. There are more loungers over here. It's really quiet here. Um, and all you have to do is just book with the spa front desk reception and you can enjoy this spot here that's super tranquil. There's some really beautiful music playing in the background. And um, if it's the same as the other palaces, so this is, yeah, this is sort of a cold pool, not very like ice cold. And then I'm assuming that this is the hot jacuzzi here. Yeah, so uh, it's actually not that hot compared to the other palaces, but nonetheless, this is a beautiful spot to come. So the way to get to this, is um, if you go into the dressing rooms, this is the male and the female dressing room, and then you can uh, just walk all the way through the change rooms and into this jacuzzi area to enjoy this really cool, peaceful place here. So I thought I'd share that. So I'm in the, men, the men's change room right now and I've double checked that there's no one in here at the moment. There are lockers as well, just to store your things while you're in the jacuzzi area. And there is also 
a sauna here too that you can use the temperature gauge here and get some sauna while you're on your stay. So that's really awesome. Maybe a cool thing to do before you head to the airport to relax and then there's even showers as well to use to freshen up before you head to the airport. All right, so outside of the gym and spa area there, I just double checked with the um, lady at the reception and they did confirm and say that yes, you do have to make a reservation or an appointment for the jacuzzi area and it is 100% all inclusive, so there's no additional charge. Um, but you do have to make a, an appointment that would last only one hour and then you'd have to uh, leave the area. But that is a really cool thing to have here at the Ryu Palaces. So carrying on down the way here, um, I've just kind of shown you a little bit of a, a couple pans of the hotel here from the other side. This would be the door to get back into the lobby right here and wrapping around this wing is where all the a la carte restaurants and buffets were. So heading back down this hallway now is going to lead us into La Latina and that's the theater here. So you can already get a good look at the outdoor area right here and then the inner side of the theater here too. I don't want to get too close but um, there are some people here that the tour operators so if you've come with a tour or come with a package your tour operator might be here so they'll be located just in the theater here usually during the daytime yes. all right so i've come over here inside the theater area this is as, as i said before la latina i really like the decor on this building here it looks nice and fresh brand new and then over here this is the live stage that um plays some like basically some warm-up music and entertaining music before the main theater starts or the main uh, performance starts for the night and that's going to be in here located at the center stage here so yeah I'm imagining this gets pretty uh, exciting in the nighttime I don't see a bar around here that you could go up and grab a drink but I'm pretty sure that the um, the waiting staff here the the waiters will come around and take a drink order and maybe they go down to the bar just down there and grab a drink but it doesn't seem to be a walk-up bar here which is kind of funny to because usually they do have a bar or even two bars here in the theaters but I'm not noticing anything here at La Latina so that's very interesting so uh, one other thing I'll mention too is that there are washrooms just over here and that's actually where we're gonna head right now because our next destination is gonna be the lounge bar which is just tucked away in the corner over here all right, so this is the entrance to the lounge bar. And if we come over here, we can see that there are... Um, so I've already been up here on our uh, initial tour of the hotel. It's about, uh, I think, five or six flights of stairs up to get to the lounge bar from here. So if stairs are not your thing, you can actually um, take an elevator to floor number one from the lobby, and there's an entrance to get to the lounge bar from there as well. So I'm going to go all the way up here and then pick up the video when we get to the top. All right, so I'm a little tired now, but we just came up uh, six or flights of stairs or so. And uh, this will be the entrance to the lounge bar just here, as you can see on the wall. However, if we turn to the left, it shows that this is floor one here. And if we open this door up, this is the hallway that you could come down if you uh, needed an accessible entrance to get to the lounge bar. You'd take the elevators uh, from the lobby to floor one and come all the way down the hall here and you'd end up at this spot here so you don't have to go up the uh, staircase. Just to the right, it leads up, there we go, leads up to more guest rooms up here, but the entrance to the lounge bar is going to be just outside here and then down this hallway here. So it is pretty tucked away and there is a reason for that. The reason being is that as we get in here, you're gonna see that there are beautiful floor to ceiling windows just around on the back side here that look out over the ocean. It gives you a spectacular view um, from this floor one here. So let's go take a look. All right, so inside the lounge bar now, I'm going immediately to this back window to show you guys the views here. Like I said before, it is a bit of a windy day today here in Cancun. So the waves are a little bit aggressive. Oop. The waves are a little bit aggressive today, but you can get beautiful panoramic views here of the Atlantic Ocean here in, in Cancun. And you can get a good look at the pool area here too. So I'll just do a little wayfinding here before we head back down because we got a good view here of the pool areas. So there's four pools. There's two pools here, one and two. This is Ryu Fit where you can do some exercise classes. 
And then uh, this is where the main bar is, just right in here. So there's a smoke bar right here and a walk-up bar just around there. So we're going to take a closer look at these a little bit later on. And then further along here, there's two more pools this way as well. So this is the entire pool area. And then obviously right in front of that is the beach area too, which we're going to go take a look at in just a few minutes too. So this is the lounge bar, which is really, really impressive. I love how just like real nice and bright it is in here with the colors. We've got some food offered here as well. We've got some hamburgers and hot dogs. We've got some nachos and cheese. So I'm assuming this is very similar to what you'd see at that late night bar at the uh, buffet. Some sandwiches and then some um, options for like a cold salad here too. Over in the corner over here, we've got a uh, pool table. So I don't think this is all inclusive. If I'm not mistaken, there's a spot over here. Yeah, it does say that it's uh, 40 pesos to play a game of pool here. And then there's also a uh, business center over here. You can access the internet if you need to get through any of your documents here. And then there's TVs scattered on the walls as well to show you some different sports and things like that. There also is a full service bar here. It's located here. So this is a really amazing spot to like grab a drink, totally relax. They've got a very similar, uh, the exact same bar menu as we saw earlier in the lobby bar. I can't believe there's not too many people hanging out here right now. These really comfy chairs here. I love the uh, decor in here, the lighting, pendant lighting, or the pendant lights hanging from the ceiling here, decorated really nicely. I like this kind of wicker style. It's really nice and beachy. And then over here, there's some more seating and more TVs. And then lastly, last thing to mention, I'm not gonna go out there because it's gonna be very windy, is that there's a uh, um, outdoor pat patio or terrace just out here. Um, and I'm noticing there are ashtrays there, so there is like a smoking area just out here. So yeah, one more view of the ocean here before we head off. And we're gonna go all the way back down to the lobby door to head down towards the pools. All right, so back in the main theater area here, I'm actually just gonna pick up the main walkway right here instead of going all the way around to the lobby and starting here. But this will be the doors to the main lobby and you walk all the way down here and then continue along all the way through to the pools and beach area here. One thing I actually mentioned to Mona was like, I just like how the gardens, I don't know if you can tell, but they're, it's not just a flat ground, it's kind of like wavy and bumpy a bit. Just add a little bit more character to the garden too. The grounds here are beautiful. Lots of like new plants that are planted that'll get more mature with as they age. We've got beautiful palm trees here. And then just up there, that's where the uh, lounge bar was. That was the terrace seating that we saw just a few minutes ago, just there. So as we come down here, I will mention as well that there's a quick access into the buffet area just here too from the pool if you wanted to grab some lunch. But if you didn't want to go all the way to the pool, or sorry, all the way to the buffet for lunch, there is an option here to uh, grab food here at Pepe's Food just here. But before we come around the corner, I will mention that there is a uh, Scuba Caribe station here for water sports information and rentals. And also you can book excursions here with Scuba Caribe as well, if that's what you wanted to uh, do on your vacation. So there is a bit of a fork in the road here. I'll just kind of let you know what's, what's going on here. We've got access to the beach down here. We've got uh, two pools over here and then uh, two more pools over this way, along with the bars over here. So this is the only bar here that's at, that's at the pool area. The stand up bar here and then there's a swim up bar on the other side. And then this is Pepe's food right here. So there's the uh, signage for Pepe's food. It looks like it starts at 12 o'clock, so we're a little early right now, but you can pick up some typical pool food here, like um, hamburgers and hot dogs, nachos, french fries, um, things like that. They even have some guacamole, pico de gallo, and then some uh, tortillas and things like that over here. So yeah, one thing I just wanted to mention is I really like the brand new kind of modern decor and design here like these lights up here the color scheme here it's really quite nice it definitely says that this place is really brand new and nice and fresh so continuing over this way i'm gonna see if i can get a spot where there's not too many people but as you can see there's lots of like sunshade here as well scattered around the pool areas to pull back and make sure you can escape the sun so this is the back side of the pool bar this is the swim up bar just here and you can see lots of people enjoying their time in the pool just here there also is an infinity edge at the back there too that you can enjoy over there. And then I'll head over to the next pool here in just a sec. All right, so just across from this uh, swim-up bar pool, there is the 
I would call this the activity pool over here because we've got like a volleyball net set up in the middle. There's people playing the volleyball game already. Um, again, lots of spots here under shade. Um, and even if you didn't get one, I'm even seeing some umbrellas over here too. So you can catch some uh, shade from the umbrellas. And then just behind me, there's the uh, washrooms here for the pool deck on this side. Moving along here, we've got the uh, Ryu Fit area. It looks like they're setting up suspension training for a fitness class here at Ryu Fit. And then I'll show you the fitness program here for Ryu Fit. So I'll try to keep it here so you can see all the different things. And you can pause the video at any time to see the different things going on. So again, this is the pool area here on the right side. And then as I turn around, we can get a good look at uh, the lounge bar just up here. So I'll head to the other side to show you those pools too. And then we'll check out the beach and that'll be it for the tour. All right, just before I thought I'd stop off just to get some water here at the bar. Um, here's the walk up bar here at the pool. And I just wanted to walk all the way through to get a good shot of the beach here. Because it might be a little bit less windy up here. But I can talk to you a little bit about the beach down here before we head down. So yeah, you can pull up a chair here right in front of the, the glass with a drink and enjoy the view of the ocean here. It is a red flag today because there are some pretty big waves as you can see in the video here. Um, but yeah, there's lots of space on the beach, tons of space, lots of extra chairs I'm noticing over there too. There isn't a lot of shade though, there's only a few palm trees so you will have to kind of pull up an umbrella or some of the Ryu team members can help you with that. Uh, there are some people on the beach that will ask you to buy things. so. Um, just to let you know that they will ask you about jet skis, parasailing, sunglasses, beach bags, dresses, and things like that. You can just politely say no and they'll leave you alone. All right, so heading over this way from Pepe's Food and the uh, pool bar, if we look over this way, this is going to be where you can pick up uh, pool towels. So you get, you're given a card when you come in for the uh, check-in. You can bring your card down here and they'll give you a pool towel. <laughs> And then uh, once you're finished for the day, you can get your card back and head back to your room so you don't have to carry your wet towels with you. So again, there's actually not too much to mention over here with these two pools. They're basically just two other pools. There's no fit, there's no uh, um, bars over here or anything. So this is just another area over here to enjoy the pools too. I guess one thing to mention is right in here, there's a dressing room uh, in case you wanted to change into your pool stuff or into your regular clothing. So there is one spot just there to do that. So now that we've checked out the pool areas, we're gonna head down this nice walkway. Again, I just love how everything just seems so like new and modern here. I kind of like that vibe from hotels, but that's just me. And I will mention that to also get down to the beach, besides the steps here, there is a accessible ramp here too to get down to the beach area. So actually, I'm just gonna head all the way down to the water because there's one thing we have to talk about here too. All right, so you've decided you wanna go to Ryu Palace in Cancun. Which one do you choose? Well, I just want to give you some information here about comparing these two hotels or three hotels, Las Americas, Peninsula, and Kukukan. If the beach is really important to you, this is the current state of Kukukan right now. So uh, it's got lots of seaweed here because it does border the east coast of Cancun here. Uh, I mean, lots of seaweed. So it's all kind of in piles here and it's definitely in the water as well. And uh, since we're staying at Rio Palace Peninsula, I can comment and say that this morning and as we were leaving the hotel, there was absolutely no seaweed over there. So that's just a, sh a small little comparison. Sometimes these things can change, um, but all the times that we've been at Peninsula, we've noticed that the seaweed's been very, very minimal. So um, also, the waves over at uh, Peninsula are significantly less on this windy day too. And here at Kukulkan, it's actually quite a bit stronger and almost to the point where it's, I would say it's not swimmable today. So once we get back to Peninsula, I'll show you what the beach looks like down there on the exact same day so you can get a good sense of comparison. All right, so we stopped off at Ryu Cancun just to show you a comparison of the beach here. And you can see much less wavy and definitely lots, a lot less seaweed on the beach here too. So now we'll head over to Peninsula, check out the beach over there. All right, so we're back at the Ryu Palace Peninsula now and um, I'll show you the beach. We're gonna actually show you from the view from our room. It's actually really nice. So just showing you a little panorama here. We did a full room tour of our room as well here at Rio Palace Peninsula. But I'll show you what it looked like down here. So as you can see, there's barely any seaweed, if any at all, on the beach as long along the way here. 
and the waves are really really small here too just because the wind doesn't come around the north end of Cancun here so the beach and the waves stay quite calm here relative to Kukukan. And um, with that we're gonna wrap up the video here so yeah Kukukan's got some really awesome stuff going for it it's brand new really fresh I like the new design they've got in the lobby um, everything looks nice and modern I really love this lounge bar just up here that overlooks the water uh, but one thing I will say is that even though it's got all that and it's conveniently located near the downtown the beach it just might be something to consider before uh, booking a stay here so with that we'll um, wrap up the tour here if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to find out where we're going next